ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನಚೋದಯಾಂಧ ಸೈರಾಮ್ ಸೈರಾಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯಂ ಐ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಓನ್ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ್ ಕೇವ್ ಆಶ್ರಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಬೈ so to say baba back in um, 80s actually middle of 80s um, beginning of 80s so we have um, different kinds of case sources about this so called nara narayana guha ashram well um first time i came to put party that was beginning of 90s and apart from being um uh, interpreter translator for such a cipher russian speaking groups i was fortunate to meet number of uh i can say great sai devotees who at that moment were much older than me so i came to such a cipher ashram beginning of 90s i was uh 20 plus and uh, all that uh like older generation of devotees like 60 and 70 mm, years old etc and one of them was swami mahesh ranand exactly uh, the person who wrote and published great book actually uh, really controversial book also we can say which is uh the title goes like satya sai baba and nara narayana guhashra well this book became very famous uh, you know, more or less immediately in the beginning of 90s like you know the kind of the moment he published i mean swami maheshwarananda this book became immediately famous and of course that uh, pretty obvious why because in that book swami maheshwarananda uh, just um, yeah shared with a very important message very important information about existence of the secret uh, himalayan cave ashram and not just ashram but um, established by such a sai our beloved swami himself and um, yeah in my previous videos i already yeah mm, uh, analyzed many sources many like you know kind of pieces of information which we have at the moment yeah now in my hands i have uh, my own book which is uh, satya sai baba supernatural experiences and uh, divine transformation actually i um, at the moment i published three books with my personal memories about satya sai all of them are in a free domain so you can just uh, download them for free as the ebooks yeah and in this uh, this book this actually volume number one um in this book um well, let me see some three or four chapters uh, dedicated uh, to this topic i mean swami maheshwarananda secret cave ashram and um, i mean uh, can we say that this is real real stuff real information or who knows maybe that's uh, just um, fantasy you know all that uh, things created as a fantasy by swami maheshwarananda himself actually i don't think that this is a fantasy uh, why i don't think uh, that this is fantasy basically because of a couple of reasons um and one of them is that i really spend time with swami maheshwarananda and i consider him as a great saint sage yogi and people like swami maheshwarananda you know never um tell lie or cheat people that's just impossible uh, but one uh, again better to say two more evidences that um, the story Uh, of Nara Narayana Guha Ashram cave ashram in Himalayas not so far from Badrinath area why it is real and one of them okay in um uh, chapter let me see 
number 52 of my book, I describe uh, how in the end of 90s actually I myself personally met two yogis from that cave ashram. Well, I've been to Badrinath a number of times uh, with uh, my students, actually I'm practicing and I teach people create yoga meditation and the Bija mantra tradition as well and some of my seminars yeah okay I, I conduct in Rishikesh or in Tiruvannamalai sometimes even in Put Party and a um, few times we went with um, uh, my friends and uh, my students to Badrinath well um, I never been to this cave ashram I don't want to create any fantasies about it, to pretend, no, no, I, I know the place, actually I know this uh, hill, this mount, approximately I know the area where this, uh, wh where is the location of this Naranarayana Guhashram established by Satyasai, so I know the location, but I never been in the ashram itself, I don't know what may happen I mean next week or next year but uh, for the moment uh, for the, for this point I will I was uh, I wasn't there actually but I met in the end of 90s two yogis uh, from that um, ashram and um, this is a really huge experience for me personally so I met them um, actually in put party and Swami Maheshwaranand himself he introduced me to these two yogis um, and I spent really a couple of weeks uh, you know mixing with them asking questions um, about meditation and the practice and many many other questions you know, so that was really sweet time for me to be with that two practitioners uh, yeah at that time they came exactly approximately like just you know for a couple of weeks to put party from Himalayas so it means uh, for me personally that's quite obvious that the ashram exists because I met people, yogis from that ashram. Uh, what I know that um, okay in the 80s uh, sometimes the number of uh, Sai devotees, yogis, practitioners who lived there uh, Okay, the number was like 20 people, 15 people, but sometimes 25, even 35 uh, yogis who uh, spend like sometimes a few years, sometimes a really long time in that ashram. So it means this is, it, it seems that this is not s a small cave, you know, for two or three uh, meditation practitioners, but if we speak about 15, 25 or, you know, whatever uh, number of uh, people, so it means it's a. We can imagine a pretty big cave, or maybe a system of caves. That's also possible. And one more a very interesting evidence about existence, proved about existence of this ashram. Actually, it it goes slightly indirectly, but at the same time, you know, that's anyway proof. Uh, in the middle of 90s, honestly speaking, I don't don't remember when exactly. Maybe it was 1996 or 1997. Uh, such a sign uh, just um, uh, officially told to the um, uh, ashra ashramates, like you know the, the visitors of the ashram, that he decided to close, the, like no. To, to finish existence of this ashram in, in, in Himalayas. And um, why such a sign basically, um, okay, let us say so-called closed this ashram? Um, the reason was very easy one because, uh, okay, um, after publication of this book written by Swami Maheshwarananda, uh, the book became very famous and so many Sai devotees, I mean Indians, Russians, Americans, Europeans, they decided, okay, like, we have to go and find uh, the place. Because actually, in this book, Swami Maheshwarananda, in his book, uh, he's even approximately describing the place. I mean, if you know the 
the area itself, but we're not. You can um, more or less locate at least approximately, you know, where to go, at least where to start your quest. And um, and the point is that um, it is possible to go and stay in this ashram only if you have special blessing and special permission from Satisai himself. If no permission, not possible to go and stay there. But people without understanding of this very important, you know, discipline, yogic discipline rule, they went, you know, them uh, and so many groups. I know number of groups. Sometimes it was uh, two, three people mixed together and go to Badrinath. Sometimes four, five people. And this became a problem for, for the ashram, for the cave ashram itself. So they, they don't need visitors who are trying to penetrate this sacred area without uh, such a sign blessing. Yeah? And that's the reason why such a sign choose to, uh, you know, to say uh, officially that he is closing this ashram. Of course, when I came to know about this, immediately I went to Swami Maheshwarananda uh, and Swami Maheshwarananda, he spent years and years in the ashram and put party ashram. And uh, I asked him, well, Swamiji, how it's possible that Bhagavan, you know, closed uh, this ashram? And then Swami Maheshwarananda told me, no, 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 ashram is still existing. But just such as I told to the public, like, come on, there is no any uh, ashram anymore, uh, you, you, you know, just to stop this stream of the uh, people who uh, are trying to, okay, like, you know, to penetrate into this ashram. And it's really helped, it's really helped, you know, after this um, announcement from, from, from such as I, just all groups, they stopped. Um, that was wonderful. But, you know, such as I, told us that he closed this ashram it was middle of 90s anyway but in the end of 90s you know i met this yogis from this nara narayana guha ashram from badrinath uh, input party and uh, they told me yeah they continue practice they continue you know their spiritual work and um, so uh, nothing stopped actually and uh, that's interesting that secretly as uh, some of that yogis uh, they visited actually a put party ashram and i think visiting even now but of course secretly um, just in the gaze of like normal pilgrims normal ashram visitors like that so no no official groups from that ashram came to the put party of course yeah so, and, um, you know, it's a very logical uh, um, thing to say that if such a sign told that he choose, he decided to close this ashram, it means that this, this ashram really existed, or really exists even now. Because if there is no any ashram, then it is possible to close it. Just think logically. If such a sign in the middle of 90s told that he closed this ashram. It means that's real ashram. That's also, of course, one more uh, quite logical proof about reality of this ashram. And of course, one more question. Uh, what's happened now? Uh, and honestly speaking, at this point, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Swami Maheshwarananda, he passed away years and years, you know, and um, so I don't know. I don't have any idea about existence of this ashram at the moment. Um, but you know, just let me uh, yeah emphasize now is 2023 actually. Yeah. Um, so we shall see. Maybe one day we come across about new facts new pieces of information about this ashram or maybe not because um, actually in the Badrinath and Kedarnath and Gangotri area in Himalayas so many really secret uh, ashrams and um, you know public uh, 
never know about it. So who knows what going to be future of this Naranarana Guhasha? Maybe it must remain as a totally secret. But maybe somebody from that ashram may come to the whatever put party uh, or maybe Premasai ashram and tell us any any good news about this ashram. So God bless all of us as usually Saram all of you. So I invite you to download and read my books, all links normally next to the video. Um, so see you next time. Satsavituruvarinyam Bharago Devasya Nimahi Diyo Yonak Prachodayantam